what's going on YouTube today I would like to show you my top five favorite um, websites to find um, STL files to 3d print I have an account on all of these websites where you can also download any STL files that you see on my channel and this is mostly like a personal opinion of how I feel are the best uh, websites for STL files. I'm just going to read from pretty much like the Wikipedia or Google searches on these channels for you so you can get a better understanding of what they're mainly about because some of these are a bit different and um, I'm just going to start with Pinshape. Pinshape Inc. is an online 3D printing community and marketplace with headquarters in Vancouver British Columbia, Canada. It allows designers to share and sell their 3D printable designs and people with 3D printers to print those designs on their own printers. Um, Pinshape is probably the last on my list, which is why I'm doing the first. Um, I, I like it, it's, it's pretty cool, just I feel like it has a lot less than other uh, websites. The next on my list is GrabCAD. GrabCAD is the largest online community of professional engineers, designers, manufacturers, and STEM students on the planet. GrabCAD Workbench manages the complexity of engineering projects with private, secure collaboration, CAD file management, and version control built in. Um, GrabCAD is where I found the STL file of the Nintendo 64 control that I use in two of my remixes. And um, yeah, like it says, it's, it has a whole bunch of engineer um, type people on there. And you really find like all these architectural designs and things of that sort on GrabCAD. So uh, I encourage you to check it out. You know, there's all types of different people on there and it's a pretty cool community number three on my list is Thingiverse and some people it might surprise you um, I know if you've been in the 3d printing community for a while then you probably hate Thingiverse right now just because how slow it is and it's a uh, I still think that it's a, a pretty cool website though. And uh, right here it says Thingiverse is a website dedicated to the sharing of user created digital design files, providing primarily free open source hardware designs licensed under the GNU General Public License or Creative Commons licenses. Users choose the type of user license they wish to attach to the, the designs they share. And yeah, I, I still like Thingiverse a bit. Um, from time to time, it works pretty good. So, second on my list is Yegi. Uh, Yegi is a sort of Google for 3D printable models. Yegi is a 3D print model search engine. It collects data from 3D printing communities and marketplaces such as Thingiverse, GrabCAD, 3DLT, and many others. The reason why Yegi is my second uh, place choice is because it's pretty much just gathers the STL files from the majority of um, STL websites. So, just like it says, it's it's a Google for STL files, and um, you know it's one of those you can sell on it as well. You know, um, you can sell your STL files, and you know you can filter out 
if you want to just browse free or if you want to browse items or STL files that cost money. And I really like it. I think it's a really awesome website. It's like a one-stop shop. So you should definitely give it a look. Number one on my list would have to be My Mini Factory. My Mini Factory is just all around an awesome website to me. Um, the number one thing that I like about it is that every STL file that's on there has to be test printed and everything before it even goes up. So it has to go through a whole process before um, it can even show on that website. So you know that every STL file on there is legit. And um, the Wikipedia for it says that My Mini Factory is working to create a decentralized ecosystem for 3D creatives to share free or paid 3D printable designs. Each object is guaranteed 3D printable as the My Mini Factory creation process means that any file uploaded to the site is validated for 3D printability on a standard desktop 3D printer. So yeah, basically the same exact thing that I said. And um, yeah, you should definitely give that site a look. So I hope you guys find this video very helpful and informative. And if you like the content that I'm showing you guys, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and um, just don't be afraid to ask me any questions about any of my videos. And um, thank you for watching.